Trump saying that mass deportation is going to be what he's working on day one after learning that Latino men voted over 50% for Trump and women is about the same. It's really just a clear indication of what's to come in the next four years. Okay, this is truly what we should be expecting. And I'm not even saying that to be like all crazy, woogity boogity or anything like this. Um, I'm just gagged a little bit, honestly, truly. I think we're all kind of gagged, sister, because when we think about immigrants we think about mexicans because of the border you know and everything and i'm not even saying it to be funny or disrespectful but we never take into consideration um latinos who align themselves to whiteness now here we are begging and, and, and badgering and going crazy for black men and their aspirations to be um close to um and in proximity to white men in, in that status and we have you know latino men who are spaniards the white men of the latin community Right. And so everybody's like, how are they like even myself? Like, how are they voting this way? And this and the third. A lot of the, the Spaniards, especially Span Spaniards, I'm talking about real people from Spain, um, are very, very they, they like that girl. They are really like that. And even like just like the immigrants who come from places like Argentina, like they're, they're very kind of like white oh, you know what I mean? Like Argentina infamously is known for housing Nazis and everything like this. And so there's a lot of things at play um, and factoring in into this whole Latino men coming out for Trump. Um, religion is one. But y'all, the whole time we was thinking that it was them because they wanted to be white. Child, it was Ricardo. Anne Maria.